because you can't stop when he's on. Time's what he's saying will leave you in a day. But you gotta put close attention because you can't put a word inside. We got crazy mad societies, we're all a bunch of free. We got crazy mad solutions when he talks before he thinks. When I need a cup of fun, like money ain't a thing, man. I got a side job clubbing rats over in England. Off the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Devoe. Off the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Devoe. Don't take offense, cause my man is frankly honest. He's the only one that ever beat me in a sweating contest. Cause if you can't take the heat, you're getting kicked out the kitchen. You get the dry white toast, he's got the two whole chicken. He got away with the ladies, they're always taking him home to mother. When she answers the door, she's like, I see you met your father. It's obvious his mouth is gonna get him in trouble. Yo, Bill, call the bar and get the bail on the double. Off the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Devoe. Off the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Devoe. Off the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Devoe. Off the top, cause he's ready to blow. Sex, drugs, Chris Nasties, it's 8 p.m. CentralityTalk.com. It must be another episode of Sex, Drugs, Chris Devon. <laughs> Holy shit, Billy Baru, fat and sassy is how the fuck I'm feeling, but that's kind of how I'm feeling all the time, Bill. How the fuck are you feeling tonight? I'm, uh, yeah. Oh shit, whatever. Can we give a Danny Tanner up for Bill because he's feeling uh, a little bit under the weather? Uh, oh, mother Bill, get it together, man. I'm sitting out there medicating with you and I'm afraid I'm gonna come down with the shit. You know, it's like singing on a mic too close after somebody that was like, ah, ah, ah. But here's the thing. Bill, I like hanging out with you so much. Did it really stop us from doing what we normally do before no. the show? No, it didn't even fucking slow us down. There I was, going right after him, doing what we do. So I swear to God, I get sick in a couple days, Bill. It's gonna be your fucking fault. Now, Bill, did you know that we have a Facebook page for the show? Sex, drugs, Christopher. It's about like a chick with a K, but I do have a dick. No, don't make me. It's too hot to be whipping out the fucking dick. It's Bill, had you liked the Facebook page, you would have already known. We have something very special going on for my musical guest this evening. Holy shit, Bill. Now, we did it earlier this year, Bill. We had a freestyle in here. The PNR fucking crew came in and they fucking crowned a king in the episode. But then we also had musical performances and Bill, yeah. we had to wait. We had to let it fucking come back around again. And now they're going to roll through again tonight. They are here to crown the second king of the episode. Give it up for the PNR battle crew. Yeah. Talk to the boy Sergio about the whole motherfucking thing. We'll crown a new king of the episode tonight. Plus, we will have a live performance for you guys. Only right here on Sex Drugs, Christopher. Only right here. Oh, I almost felt like a fucking wrestler. Oh, oh, you see what I did there, Bill? Segways are for kids and mall cops, Bill, but you see what I just did there? Hey, okay, so hey, there's this really cool uh, wrestler. He's a little older now. His name's Ric Flair. Hey, woo! Nature Boy Ric Flair. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. He invented that line right there. He's very fucking cool. Little did I know, little did I fucking know that the Indianapolis Colts idolized Ric Flair as well. And they fucking have actually made one of his fucking legendary speeches. I don't know what year it's from. I dare say mid-80s, 84, 85 or something. You can literally hear the ladies cheering for him. Somebody's made a video of the Indianapolis Colts doing this speech along with Ric Flair doing this speech, and they spliced it together with something very special. Bill, show this fucking video. Rolex Flair, you're talking to the Rolex wearing... <laughs> Woo! Diamond ring wearing... Diamond ring wearing... <laughs> Woo! Kiss stealing... Kiss stealing... <laughs> Woo! Wheeling dealing... Wheeling dealing... <laughs> Woo! Limousine riding... Limousine riding... <laughs> Woo! Jet flying... Jet flying... <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? How cool is that fucking shit, Bill? And that little dog fucking making that shit. You teach a dog to do the Ric Flair woo? That's a bad fucking dog. And that didn't even look like the type of dog I'd own, Bill. But that dog's doing the Ric Flair woo. I'm definitely fu Hey, let me get my dog in here. Watch this shit. Hey, Rick. Rick, get in here. My dog's name is Ric Flair. Do it. Do it, Rick. I don't know why you gotta be stoned and drinking a beer when you're... Woo! When your dog's in a fucking nature boy. You know? Bill! You ever wish you had two dickheads? 
<laughs> Roll with me on this one, guys. Two, I know. I just blew his mind. Los is in the house tonight. By the way, we're going to have another story time with Los coming up after the break. You guys are in for a fucking treat. Los, you ever wish you had two dick heads? Not two dicks, my friend. You still got one shaft. Well, I'm getting real technical with this. You still have one shaft, and it's going to split into two dick, dick heads. Show the x-ray of this snake. You see, can you see the x-ray? Now, your dick's going to be like that. Are you interested? Well, Look, y'all getting ideas. He's like, I can put him in both both spots I want to at the same time, probably, with that type of... Well, let's talk about this. If you're... <laughs> now that's going in a We're not going to go there. That fucking two-headed snake got mad at itself and tried to fucking bite the other head. This two-headed snake actually has two... I mean, two heads, two brains. It's not working off the one brain. It's working off one nervous system. This fucking thing... It sounds like your ex-wife. His ex-wife was a two-headed fucking snake that was always nipping at her own face. That's crazy. Uh, there's a uh, there's a comedian. There's a comedian, Bo Burnham, and he has a joke that says, uh, "You know, it's funny. My ex-girlfriend used to like go walk around the house and uh, uh, do something real funny. She used to act like a fucking bitch all the time." <laughs> that's not my joke. That's Bo Burnham. Google him. He's fucking hilarious. But doesn't that remind you of some exes that you've had? Oh, yeah. Hey, walking around doing impressions. Now, okay. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question, but I'm not gonna be talking about what you think I'm gonna be talking about. How little is little, ladies? Five, five inches is little. Five inches is, five inches is, is that enough, five inches? You want bigger than five? Oh, God. What about you over there? What do you think? The same. Okay. Smaller than five is not worth my time. Smaller than, smaller than five, not worth my, worth my time. That's like the fucking Denny's Grand Slam thing. Four ninety nine. are you out of your mind? Less than five, are you out of your mind? Really? I need to measure me and see where I'm at these days. I don't know. I don't really know where I'm at right now. I, remember when you're younger? Hey, yeah, we got younger people in here. You guys ever still measure? You, anybody ever measure your dick in here? It's okay. We're just with homies. No? Don't lie. Hey, when you're younger? Remember when you were younger? I never did either. Come on. I bet you guys don't jack off either, right? I mean... You know, it's weird. Just like I remember giving this band justice. This band justice real young. I gave them a speech one time. I said, you're going to get to a point where you get a little older and you just don't give a fuck anymore. Doesn't mean you give up on life. You just don't give a fuck. And somebody's going to be like, you jack off? Yeah, I jack off. What? What are we talking about? Why? <laughs> like, so it's like, you're 14 and you're like, no, nobody's jacking off. Shut up, mom. Like, and I'm like, yeah, what? I jack off. I ain't doing it in front of you. What are we talking about? What do you want to know? Like, <laughs> this guy's little. Show the picture of him, Bill. I ain't talking little dicks, by the way, you guys. I'm talking this little man. This whole time. You guys are fucking nasty. I expect this in my crowd. A foot, a foot, nine and a half inches. That's how tall this guy was. So 12 plus nine, 21 and a half inches this motherfucker was. That's how big he was. That's, man. I know fucking black dudes in porn that have bigger cocks than that guy, Bill. That is a fucking true. I don't know them, Bill. Oh, I thought you were sick. You're fucking sick and you're making gay jokes at me. That was a good one, by the way. Now, that, now listen, he fucking died at the age of 75. That's a long life for a little man, right? I don't know. Do little men die early like big men? Andre the Giant status and shit, Bill? I don't know. Fucking Bill, was that all, was that all I gave you? Because if so, we're going to take a break right now. Let's go ahead and take oh, a break. No, yeah, let's do it. What are you, you going to put them here? Put them up. Is it switching? Uh, I thought you were going to put them next to my face, and we were going to see how... And I could uh, whip my dick out and see who's bigger. No. If you could sell me, I'll put my dick on the TV if we're going to compare to that little guy. Not doing it. Oh, <laughs> That's the only time Bill's ever tonight. Sex drugs, Chris DeVault, sexrallytalk.com is what the fuck you're watching. We have the PR crew in the fucking house tonight! Woo! Second ever King of the Episodes gonna fucking happen. Let's take a fucking break, my little nasties, when we come back. Oh god, it's gonna be so nasty. Man. Story time with Lowe's! Do it, Bill, do it! Looking for a travel agent? Look no further. Bianca Echeveste can make your travel dream a reality, even on a budget. Visit ilovemytravelbiz.com or call Bianca at 559-284-2217. Letty Pingatori focuses on the unique needs of each client. Call Letty if you need a realtor in the Central California area. Looking outside the SimCal area, Letty will refer you to the best Keller Williams agent nearest you. Letty Pingatori, realtor extraordinaire. 
Hiring great talent is essential to your business. However, it's also time consuming, and time is money. Contact Wolf Recruiting of Fresno and gain access to candidates you will not find on the open job market. Candidates through Wolf Recruiting are considered the best of the best. Why? Because they're gainfully employed. Whether it's technology, accounting, sales, or general administration, Wolf Recruiting's versatile background brings a solid foundation to confidentially identifying the very best talent. Call Wolf Recruiting at 877-589-9441 or find us on the web at wolfrecruiting.com. If you're in the ag business, you need a pet tiger on your payroll. Visit TigerJill.com to learn more about Orange Enterprise's complete payroll tracking system, Pet Tiger. Central Valley Talk. CentralValleyTalk.com. Sex, drugs, Chris Wells. What the fuck you are watching? Hopefully refill the weed bowl, those cereal bowl. Maybe you got yourself another uh, beer, some chocolate milk. If I had chocolate milk, I'd be blowing bubbles <gasps> in my... You will never find out who bubbles! Probably like a chick or something, you know. I don't know. You better hope. Hey, how about the first Friday of every month? A little something we like to do. We started it, and now we're continuing it. And uh, I almost forgot that it was first Friday of the month, and it came. It was fantastic. Hey, can I get a cheers real quick? Cheers. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, give it up story time with Los. <laughs> now, Los, uh, you've come with some nasty, uh, some weird, nasty stories sometimes. Yeah. But you're coming with the truth, and that's what I always like. When he brings yeah. you these weird, ridiculous stories, they may be out of control, they may be fucking outlandish, but they are always fucking true, right, dude? dude I swear to God, every single story that I'm gonna tell you. I was there, or I know the people Closely that were there. Closely associated, you oh, knew it happened. Like, very well. This ain't like this ain't like heard from a guy who saw Ferris pass out of 31 Flavors. No, like, this you ain't, were there. This, no, this ain't from, I heard it from a guy that heard it from a guy that okay. knew this chick that, yeah. No, You're there. Th there was no midgets. No mi <laughs> Well, there was that one time. I'll, I'll get to that one later. I'll get to that one later. One night you'll get to that story. <laughs> what do you got for a story time with Los? What would you like to tell me this evening? What do you got for me? Okay, this is the way it's going to start out. I was in Modesto. Oh, back up. Now, we got some youngins in the house. I don't know if you ever heard of a fucking bad story. Real quick, did you just let him smell your fingers? What happened back there? Uh, What's you let really him smell, going on? You What's let him it? smell uh, herb? Uh, or uh, were you outside uh, finger banging uh, and you were like, get a load of this fish stick? And he's like, get that, get that. Nah, it's some herb. <laughs> I mean, herb or pussy, either way, you get respect from me. I ain't going to fucking lie. I mean, either way. This I'm like, you're fingering chicks outside the studio right now? I'm like, what is? what are we doing in here? Next week's story. <laughs> I'm going to have him on next week He's like, so I'm finger banging this girl outside the whole studio And I'm holding weed in the other hand Alright, so what happens in Modesto? Which, by the way, you can be like, asshole Modesto It kind of rhymes, hopefully none of the Modestinians are Modesto. Yeah. Modesto yeah. Go ahead, so what happened in Modesto, Los? <laughs> so, I was doing a job out there I was uh, actually working at a power plant Okay, that was my and next question the guys that were there, it's one of those uh, wood to energy. So you got to burn the wood and it turns into energy. You do the so same they, thing in my bedroom every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get energized. <laughs> so you got to go in a couple of times a year. You go in, you got to wash out the burners, the boilers, all that stuff. Freddy Krueger so, status. You got to clean that shit, yeah, man. Yeah, you got to clean it. You, you don't want it to catch on fire later. I understand. So the guys that they brought... Instead of like sandblasting it like a lot of people do, these guys they use dry ice. They were from Canada, so the guys tell me, "Look, oh, they were a bunch of hosers, eh? Hey, hey exactly. Hey. So they were like, "What's that about?" So they started talking to me about, "Hey, do you know any you know good bars around here?" You know, yeah, I'm, but they don't serve fucking Molson ice, you assholes. Yeah, so, oh, so we got to talking. Oh, I'm like, "Look, I, uh, you know, I know a bar." They're like, "Okay, we stay in a hotel. It's right around the corner. Can you pick us up? You know, right after work, and then just drop us off." You took them to like Modesto's equivalent of the brig, didn't you? Dude, I took them to the worst shit that I could find. Nice. He's like, "I'm gonna teach these motherfuckers <laughs> about a shit dive fucking bar in America." <laughs> so you're at fucking shit shit emporium bar. Yeah. So they get to the bar. We get to the bar, I should say. One of the guys. You know, he buys me a tequila sunrise. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, a tequila sunrise. Uh, all right, all right, fine. I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm not I'm gonna, gonna pick on you. Hey, from it's, it's free. I'm not gonna complain. You, it's I drink. It's a little fufu. It's a little fufu. Little fufu for love. I'm a, I'm a beer guy. All I'm right. a beer guy. <laughs> or straight, or straight tequila. I all mean, right. So then he buys me another. Okay, now it's time for me to get out of here. Let me finish this second one now. I'm going to finish it because it's already paid for. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to get out of here. You're I'm a man with standards, Lowe's. <coughs> He's like, I'm going to finish it because it's paid for. And then yeah. I'm going to go. Then I'm going. 
So I, I go. The next morning, I get back over there. Now, there's three guys, three Canadians, okay? There's Big Boy, that what we called him. We and, actually have a picture of Big Boy. Oh, you can see him on he, screen. He, you see him right there? That's Big Boy. <laughs> So that's one of the no, dudes you were no, with that night. You don't understand. This guy was huge. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We, we had this other guy. Uh, he looked like uh, the transporter. What's his name? Steve. Uh, uh, what's the uh, transporter guy's yeah. name? Yeah. You got a picture of him? There he is yeah. right there. There's a new transporter. That's what he looks like right there. <laughs> that's the second guy, right? So, I mean, he looks like him, right? So all the girls are flocking. Okay. So he, and he, he's his stunt double. And then, of third course, guy. yeah, well, the third guy, like, you know, tall guy, you know, that's the one that was buying was me the tall, drinks. He yeah. was buying me drinks. He was buying me drinks. Okay. All right. So the next day I get over there and they're like, oh man, you should have stuck around. I'm like, why? What happened? Oh, like, by the way, you ever get that fucking when you leave a party and then your friends got to run up to you the next day and, and they're like, man, you shouldn't have left. Dude. Well, why? Everybody showed up serving that fucking lines and bowls and free food and all the girls were playing with their clips all night and wanted dick. <laughs> no, they... I, the, the after party crew showed up like, oh, the missed the Chris party crew yeah, right after I left. So exactly. The missed the Los party crew rolled Dude, through. So I missed it, right? So I'm, uh, okay, I'm, what did I miss? I got to hear this. I got to hear this, right? So the, the the transporter guy will say, right? What He's, is that guy? St- Jason State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, so... He's telling me, look, you know, we went back to the hotel. Back you know, me momo. and Big Boy, we decided we we're going to go to the swimming pool. We we're going to take a swim. We met this chick. Wet, just like that. I'm like, okay, you met a chick. And you're like, yeah. So, you know, they were swimming around. And I guess, you know, the transporter guy says, hey, I bet you can't handle the both of us at the same time. No, that's like a bet. What he's like, I bet you won't let me fuck you tonight. <laughs> she was like, bet. Took, Whoa! took them back to the room. Took them both back to the room. They're over there. They're, they're doing like an Eiffel Tower. Oh, yeah. my Look God. Look up what an Eiffel Tower is, kids. So Google it. Bridge. Oh, oh my bridge. God. All right. Yeah, like so it. they're like. over there. I guess apparently they say they're doing their thing, right? And big boy's there. Transporter guy's there. So look at like, you know, well, yeah. you know what I mean. Just but, in case Statham's really yeah, watching. Yeah. Really it, it, and if you are watching, you're a bitch, and I dare you to come to this show. Woo! <laughs> Just so you can just show up. Uh, just so you can show up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, all right. So what's really going on, right? So I ask them, okay, so what happened? And they show me pictures of the girl and in the room, and they're having a great time. It was, it looked great on camera. So I'm like, oh, you don't even want to know. I'm like, okay, so now I really do want to know. Now I do want to know what the fuck happened in there. So, yeah. By the way, that's a devil's three-way when it's two dudes and a chick, by the way. Yeah, so I'm that. like, okay, all right, so what really happened? And I'm like, man, we started, we got her all naked, and we were over there, you know, fucking around. She started sucking our dicks. Now, this is what really got me. All right. Big Boy says, man, <laughs> she started sucking my dick. And she started licking my asshole. Whoa! The salad has been tossed! Boop! 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 There's alarms going off! No! No! Woo-hoo-hoo. That's what it Woo-hoo. sounds like when that happens. You gotta, you gotta almost know what's coming, though. Woo! You gotta almost know what's coming. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's like that's it, like legs up. This is getting out of control. Woo, man! So then he says, "No, big boy, telling me she licked my asshole." No, wait. Let him tell you what happened next. I'm looking at transporter guy sitting right there. What happens? He's got this. He's got this look on his face. That's what, what happened. Wait a I'm minute. like, what really happened? Wait a minute. Everybody everybody at home, grab onto napkins, grab onto the edges of the table, grab onto your dicks, grab onto your pussies. Let's just brace ourselves because he always gets to this point in his story. What really happened, Los? He kissed her. Oh! <laughs> you get, wait a minute! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Like immediately after? Right after. Like he's, like, we're still he's going. like, eat my ass and then immediately after come up and kiss me. And she kid she not no she oh, licked the fat dude. Wait a minute. She licked no, big wait boys a minute. and turned she around. She licked and big boy's asshole and, and then turned around kiss. and kissed him. Yeah. Well, why don't your buddy just get down and lick your uh. ass for you at that point? <laughs> right? 
Ain't that what we really getting at right now? Your um, friend just licked your asshole, and he didn't do it manually. He did no. it through a carrier messenger. But this is Canadian. He was like, but he was clean. He was in the. He was in the. He was in the. In the pool. No, I don't give a fuck. Oh, his asshole was all coordinated. I don't care how you, you try to justify Gross. it. It's, you're still licking ass. <laughs> And that's a quote for you to fucking live with. You still just wait. You try to justify it, and you still lick an you're ass. Still lick an Holy ass. Holy fuck, <laughs> Los! I don't even know what the fuck to think, dude. Can we give it up for story time with Los? <laughs> you gotta come back first Friday of next month gotta and be come here. with another fucking story. Oh, I, I like the I like the lead mini. up. It hurts so much. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. I'm gonna put my hands up at that part of the story and just brace myself. For what the fuck are you gonna say? Uh, Holy fuck! Yeah. How about this? Let's one. keep. Oh, he's already wait till next one. <laughs> Let's keep the party going. Let's take a fucking quick commercial break. CentralValleyTalk.com. Sex drugs. Christopher, what the fuck you're watching? When we come back after the break, the PNR Battle Crew will crew. Second ever king of the episode. Gonna be crowned tonight. Bill, slide that knob and oh my god, never you don't do that. Unique needs of each client. Call Letty if you need a realtor in the Central California area. Looking outside the SimCal area, Letty will refer you to the best Keller Williams agent nearest you. Letty Pingatori, realtor extraordinaire. Here at Central Valley Talk, we've chosen select business systems to provide for our copy, print, and scanning needs. We used to think it was cheaper to purchase our own toner and maintain our own office equipment. But now, with the expertise and experience of select business systems, our office workflow is running at peak performance, saving our company time and money. They've truly set us up with our new sharp multifunction copier, streamlining our office with the press of a button. To find out how you can improve your your office technology, call Select Business Systems at 446-0123 or visit their website at selectsharp.com. Looking for work? Tired of minimum wage? For as low as $200, become certified as a forklift driver at the Certified Forklift Training Center. Call 559-325-8097 or visit cftc.net. No matter what you drive, sooner or later you're going to need tires. That means you. It's Wheel King! Your custom wheel and tire headquarters for over 20 years. Hundreds of custom wheels and tires in stock all the time. Shocks, brake jobs, alignments, and lowering done the right way. The King has got you covered. It's Wheel King. No one else can get it, thank you. Call 225-KING. Blackstone, just out the Shaw, it's Wheel King! Hiring great talent is essential to your business. However, it's also time-consuming, and time is money. Contact Wolf Recruiting of Fresno and gain access to candidates you will not find on the open job market. Candidates through Wolf Recruiting are considered the best of the best. Why? Because they're gainfully employed. Whether it's technology, accounting, sales, or general administration, Wolf Recruiting's versatile background brings a solid foundation to confidentially identifying the very best talent. Call Wolf Recruiting at 877-589-9441 or find us on the web at wolfrecruiting.com. You need a pet tiger on your payroll. Visit TigerJill.com to learn more about Orange Enterprise's complete payroll tracking system, Pet Tiger. Central Valley Talk.com. You guys, we'll get you. Central Valley Talk.com. Sex drugs, Chris Wills. What the fuck you watching, Billy Baru? Are you ready? Ever since the inception of the show, February 12, 2013. Shit, Bill. That's a, that's a while ago. I didn't even do shit. I like that long. This is like episode 129, I think. I think we're on 129, 128. Keeping it fucking going. By the way, we got the birthday episode coming up soon. That's going to be October 16th. Two hour episode. Five musical acts. Watch out for that shit. By the way, we had them on earlier this year. They've all come back. We'll get proper introductions later. But tonight, we have musical performances for you. And we have the second ever fucking battle that's going to crown the king of the episode. Let's go ahead and turn it off to them now. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you... The PNR Battle Crew! All I do is flex, 
Then I do that check. I love to finesse. Run you out to check. All I do is flex. Then I do that check. I love to finesse. Run you out to check. All I do is flex. Then I do that check. I love to finesse. Run you out to check. All I do is flex. Then I do that check. I love to finesse. Run you out to check. All I do is flex. Then I do that check. I love to finesse. Run you out to check. All I do is flex. Then I do that check. I love to finesse. Run you out to check. Gotta knock it out the park like a home run I paused for a second then I saw you I'm like hold up Hey girl I know you like to have fun Why well, I like to have fun too so girl what's up Why you acting all shy no shyness to the flyers Ain't no lie when I say I'm the flyers I be flexing like I got muscle but I'm working on it People say when the big step out I be working on it Girl I know you see the one you be twerking on it I be like McDonald's I be loving it I stay crushing you stay bugging You be looking at my body I know you wanna touch it All I do is flex Thumb into that check, I love to finesse, run you out to check, all I do is flex, thumb into that check, I love to finesse, run you out to check, all I do is flex, thumb into that check, I love to finesse, run you out to check, all I do is flex, thumb into that check, I love to finesse, run you out to check, all I do is flex, thumb into that check, I love to finesse, run you out to check, all I do is flex, thumb into that check, I love to finesse, run you out to check. Been in a dope game, now I got a dope name Got a dope brain, got a dope chain Serving all the dope fiends, don't blame me Blame the money or I'm running my fingers through a fucking check Yeah, I'm serving ho, yeah, I'm out of control I'm a motherfucking animal going after your dope Fuck what you think, fuck what you heard, fuck what you think Fuck what you heard, pulling up a vote of high tech Got me feeling fucking lifeless, so bitch try this, suck this Fuck this, you know you like dick, so don't go up, bitch <laughs> All I do is flex, thumb into that check. I love to finesse, run you out to check. All I do is flex, thumb into that check. I love to finesse, run you out to check. All I do is flex, thumb into that check. I love to finesse, run you out to check. All I do is flex, thumb into that check. I love to finesse, run you out to check. All I do is flex, thumb into that check. I love to finesse, run you out to check. All I do is flex, thumb into that check. I love to finesse, run you out to check. Tell me, get that any day And yeah, I'm really with the shit So price to get you gone Motherfuckers call me buck Cause the way I'm fucking bomb Who didn't eat with a brick Like it wasn't there at all Pulling up a fall Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking gone Fucking all the bitches Yeah, they know they do wrong But cameras just a nigga Who got his money long Yeah, you can't see me do All this fucking logs Niggas call me pawn But you know when I'm smoking on these logs Motherfucker, I'm just trying to start on you Motherfucker, I'm just trying to start on you
Looking for a travel agent? Look no further. Bianca Echeveste can make your travel dream a reality, even on a budget. Visit ilovemytravelbiz.com or call Bianca at 559-284-2217. Letty Pingatori focuses on the unique needs of each client. Call Letty if you need a realtor in the Central California area. Looking outside the SimCal area, Letty will refer you to the best Keller Williams agent nearest you. Letty Pingatori, realtor extraordinaire. Hiring great talent is essential to your business. However, it's also time consuming, and time is money. Contact Wolf Recruiting of Fresno and gain access to candidates you will not find on the open job market. Candidates through Wolf Recruiting are considered the best of the best. Why? Because they're gainfully employed. Whether it's technology, accounting, sales, or general administration, Wolf Recruiting's versatile background brings a solid foundation to confidentially identifying the very best talent. Call Wolf Recruiting at 877-589-9441 or find us on the web at wolfrecruiting.com. If you're in the ag business, you need a pet tiger on your payroll. Visit TigerJill.com to learn more about Orange Enterprise's complete payroll tracking system, Pet Tiger. Central Valley Talk. CentralValleyTalk.com, Sex Drugs, Chris Wolves, what the fuck are you watching? We did it earlier this year, we had the very first fucking battle rap, we crowned the king in the episode. Shit was so fucking fun, so successful, we're fucking doing it again. But oh my god, I myself cannot be the fucking MC for this battle rap. So ladies and gentlemen, let me turn it over to the PNR Battle Crew! Yeah! What's poppin', power and respect, Fresno. We got a surprise for y'all tonight. Two battlers that really don't need no introduction. You can find them on YouTube at Power and Respect Battles. Um, can we start that over? Keep it running. Fuck it. Look, on my right, Statesman Prophet. You already know what time it is. You know, aka your Mexican Ninja Turtle, aka your horseless headsman. Power and respect. Gotta give a shout out to the homie Jock Shock, you know. I hope you're listening, you know what I mean? And then a whole Power Respect squad. Yeah. Give it up for Statesman, y'all. Yeah. yeah! And on my left, it's full motherfucking fifth. My closet got more wife beaters in the Fresno County Jail. Let's do this. Oh! oh. 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 I heard them, right, folks. Hey. Anybody got a quarter? 60 seconds. I'll go first. Yeah, go. Make sure you're in the shot. Round, yeah. round one on four fifth. Let's get it. Hey, yo. Check it. Man, I heard you be slobbing on Schlong. Uh -huh. They call you statesman, because uh -huh. you're good with inaugural balls. He turns his back because he's used to putting his ass towards dudes. Faggot, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh. no, you turn back around, now you ain't that confused, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that little pussy hair you got growing on your chin. Oh. That ain't pussy hair, that's ball hair, and you got a cock up in your lips. Oh. Oh. Damn. Look, ears looking like Spock up in this bitch. I'm talking about post-mortem, motherfucker. I will toast you anytime you want to step. I'll take you at the game like a ref. Boy, you standing there acting hard with your arms crossed. That ain't gonna make you look no harder, bitch. You still a fucking whore. It don't matter what you say. Your little tattoos are gay. You're fucking lame. You fucking should go out the back door and slip out and never come back again. Like 7-Eleven clerks. Bitch, you get your head severed from your neck. This is the way I do this, bitch. It's 4 5 in this bitch. I get wrecked. Oh! Oh! Yo, and quit. Time, <laughs> time, 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 yeah. time, time, time. Make some noise. <laughs> Make some noise. Power and respect. It's on you, Sasha. All right, full fit. We pull shit. Huh? Couldn't even find a rag to make it to this show. That's true shit. True huh? shit. They had to call me up and be like, Statesman, do me a favor. Portify, pick me up, and I'll shoot you <laughs> gas money, but not till a couple months when I get my EBT. <laughs> I said, that shit's fine with me, you know what I mean? Free food, can nobody complain. But this bitch right here talking about my tattoos, he's just got ink stained. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rocking his hair and shit, looking like not even a race, you can even know what he is. This guy's like, what are you, Punjab or some shit? But with this pun, I'll jab you and knock you out and it ain't funny. <laughs> bitch, I'm out here getting money. This motherfucker's right here trying to bum off somebody. Mm. You know, can I get a cigarette, some nicotine? This guy's over here standing, he's dressed like a half-dressed ass fiend. Now this is Power Respect, the label that you know. Rep it for the valley, California watches we grow. Now get, gotta give a shout out to Dr. Ink and 
Wix, uh, and that's uh, it, yo. Uh, Woo. Time. Uh, Make some noise, yeah. yeah. Are you doing three rounds? Yeah. Round two on four fifth. Let's get it. All right, listen, dog. Motivate. Quit asking me. I don't know if Crystal Vol will let you lick his balls. Mm. <laughs> You're gonna have to ask him yourself. Mm. <laughs> you fucking faggot, put that wax shit back on the shelf mm. before I put your head on it. So give him something to drink. You got that cock breath and he's still stinking in my face. I'm about to leave him dead on this mm. ground when I fucking throw him down, you a fucking little bitch. Quit pointing when I'm rapping in my rounds or you'd be pointing to the nearest exit. <laughs> you fucking, <laughs> what's it say on your hand? Firm? N.W.A. bitch. No, it says firm, bitch. You ain't firm. You softer than fucking ass cheeks. Oh. Softer than the titties that be up in the show shaking in the motherfucker's face last week. <laughs> so, yo, step back with your little purple. Purple, pu purple. You a fucking faggot. And that's the word on the street. But you sell your ass. That's the word on the street. And that's the ass that you be selling this stinking motherfucker. You be thinking that you turn it back to motherfucker like you big hard man. I'll leave you shrinking like you fucking... Time. Time. Woo. Give it up for 4th 5th, y'all. Yeah. How yeah. respect. Hey, bottom of the second Ready. statesman, let's get it. This guy's all faded, wearing a sh tank top that's all faded. Mm. <laughs> he ain't even matching with this shit, with this comprehension. We can't match these verbs with these words that I spit. Mm. I'll be splitting him with these rhymes like I do this, like it's my 9 to 5. But mm. it's a hobby, I'm turning it into a profession. Got this over here guessing. What I'm gonna say next, am I gonna say something that's really gonna offend him? Nah, he's cool. Give you a fuck you again. I get everybody with that one, dude. You know what I mean? Now I just dissed him in front of the internet, live on cam, power and respect. You know the fam, this guy's nothing. Nah, he's the homie. But no, he's not. Not right now, man. Time. <laughs> Time. You know, check it out. I ain't gonna lie, dog. If I didn't give you a handshake, you were my ride home. <laughs> I ain't trying to walk, you know what I'm saying? But these dogs will bark. They will sick you. Make you fucking sit there and wonder how to get the fuck off the bus. And when I bust in Rosa Parks, you will never fucking stand to this, bitch. You only shark food, bitch. I spit on you, oh well, that's the way I rhyme. When I spit, it's fucking grime. Take you off your fucking elements. You can never spit as sick as the fifth does when I'm sending it your way. What the fuck is that, PNR? Represent. Oh, I'm dead. But he don't even have a tattoo of that shit, you fucking queer. So what the fuck are you saying here? <laughs> With a shout out, power and respect. Wix in this bitch. Yeah, yeah. Showcase. J Money, everybody yeah. in this bitch. We'll make some noise. Y'all all witnesses. Yeah. Yeah. Make some noise for that battle, yeah. yeah, at the end of the day, all love, power and respect. Thank you for having us. Appreciate you, Dr. Inc., for having us out here. Yes. <laughs> Letty Pingatory focuses on the unique needs of each client. Call Letty if you need a realtor in the Central California area. Looking outside the SinCal area, Letty will refer you to the best Keller Williams agent nearest you. Letty Pingatory, realtor extraordinaire. Here at Central Valley Talk, we've chosen select business systems to provide for our copy, print, and scanning needs. We used to think it was cheaper to purchase our own toner and maintain our own office equipment. But now, with the expertise and experience of select business systems, our office workflow is running at peak performance, saving our company time and money. They've truly set us up with our new sharp multifunction copier, streamlining our office with the press of a button. To find out how you can improve your your office technology, call Select Business Systems at 446-0123 or visit their website at selectsharp.com. Looking for work? Tired of minimum wage? For as low as $200, become certified as a forklift driver at the Certified Forklift Training Center. Call 559-325-8097 or visit cftc.net. No matter what you drive, sooner or later you're going to need tires. That means you! It's Wheel King! Your custom wheel and tire headquarters for over 20 years. Hundreds of custom wheels and tires in stock all the time. Shocks, brake jobs, alignments, and lowering done the right way. The king has got you covered. Protect the wheel, King King. No one else can get it, thank you. Call 225 King. Blackstone, just out of the shaw. It's Wheel King. 
Hiring great talent is essential to your business. However, it's also time consuming, and time is money. Contact Wolf Recruiting of Fresno and gain access to candidates you will not find on the open job market. Candidates through Wolf Recruiting are considered the best of the best. Why? Because they're gainfully employed. Whether it's technology, accounting, sales, or general administration, Wolf Recruiting's versatile background brings a solid foundation to confidentially identifying the very best talent. Call Wolf Recruiting at 877-589-9441 or find us on the web at wolfrecruiting.com. You need a pet tiger on your payroll. Visit TigerJill.com to learn more about Orange Enterprise's complete payroll tracking system, Pet Tiger. Central Valley Talk. Talk. Talk.com is what the fuck you're watching. We get up one more time for the PR crew! <laughs> Invading the fucking studio. Yeah. Let's go yeah. ahead and just start. Let's go ahead and start here, work our way around. Who the yeah. fuck we got here right now? Santa, representing Sam McCallie, pound respect, 559. Right. Right, right. MC Wicks, aka Big Nasty, <laughs> aka <laughs> Mr. Sweaty <laughs> Fucking Chad. Fat bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Vito Blanco from fucking 93662. <laughs> <laughs> Showcase, get it out the mud, Glass City. Boom. Statesman, the horseless headsman, PNR. <laughs> JM, <laughs> Sam Kelly. PNR. Right, Sam Kelly. Everyone out there knows me, let's get it. Real quick, let's just fucking start it here. If somebody doesn't know what the fucking PNR crew is, that's the best way to explain it. What the fuck? What the fuck are you guys? For those seeing you for the first time, this is a hip hop crew, battle rap crew. We all do music. We have battles everywhere, right? Let them know. Show basically, uh, it's a West Coast league. We got divisions out in Fresno, Sacramento. Um, we got a, a division also in San Diego. Uh, we just did an event in Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz yeah, yeah. We're everywhere, man. If you want to do a battle on the West Coast and you want to get your name up, you got to come mess with power and respect, man. Yeah. That's going to be the only way to do it, right? Go through go through this avenue, Definitely. right? Yeah. Definitely. Right? Give it up for that. Why not? It's right here in fucking Fresno. You guys fucking, if you think you got it, why not hit them up? Now, you can, where Where do I find half of y'all on Facebook? Y'all got Facebook pages? Here's your chance to plug it. So take your turn. <laughs> Who's got the four, Facebook? Showcase419, that's my IG, that's my Twitter, that's my Facebook. You can find me on there. Also, if you want to see Power and Respect Battles, you just go to YouTube and type in Power and Respect Battles. Everybody will pop up. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the best way to see the videos, that's by right, the way, YouTube. You, you type that in the subscribe. YouTube. Just shit subscribe. Oh, just there you go. You can subscribe yeah, to that shit. Better than, better than, <laughs> subscribers. How long? When? Wait. When did this come together? When did all this happen? And who started this shit? Uh, Senna, he's a, he's the yeah. godfather of it. Um, it started in 2010, yeah. I believe. Right? January, January, January 2010. Yeah, give it up for Senna. How do you, I mean, and how do you decide you're going to fucking do this? Where, where you already people doing it at parties and you were just like, man, uh, I mean, we need to fucking get this together. Like, how did it happen? Well, I mean, I would see battles on YouTube, Grind Time, because they're the ones that started, in my opinion. And uh, we just said we need something out here in the battle. Those are the videos I remember people showing yeah. me, by the way. Hey, yeah. man, you seen this? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it started. We just started putting the local talent out first. Easy to grab, easy yeah. to find all these guys. Easy yeah. to get everybody together. Let's go to YouTube. Oh, find everybody. I just found them all like in the city, and then everybody just like I'm ready to rap. You caught Wicks with a fat bitch. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Wicks looking at <laughs> cheeseburger. Was actually a thin one. It was. It's who liked the boy who wanted that? See that <laughs> Wicks. We need to have you on again, buddy. It's a party every oh, time man. you come on, no, man. No, it's all in. We'll, we'll get Wicks on. How about, I want to get Wicks on for the Christmas episode. <laughs> 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 we'll get like Jimmy O and MC Wicks in here. I love Jimmy O singing Christmas carols, and then we'll bring Wicks up about fat or fucking all these bitches and shit. Just nasty <laughs> sex. You write a nasty Santa sex song or something, dude, right? Right? Wix does pop up everywhere. Wix be getting tagged at like the fucking swap meet in Hanford on Mondays and shit. And he's like, I ain't even been to Hanford, man. No, okay, so so I gotta ask you, in Fresno there there is this scene, um, where do you guys do these battles? Because you guys got to get in where you fit in, right? When, you, where, when and where do you get to uh, well, fucking do these? The next one we have in Fresno is October 10th, and it's okay. at Fresno Finest Cuts. Boom. That's right around yeah. the fucking corner. Yeah. And it start, starts at 7 p.m. We have a, It's a full lineup. Main event's going to be a good event. So October 10th, 
And what's the place called? Fresno Finest Cuts, 3578 East McKinley. And how about yeah. as it gets closer, you guys, uh, you might want to shoot me a message and I can, yeah, yeah. I can shoot it well, on I, my page. I got the flyer out there and then we Good. have a, a trailer coming off for it on Sunday. So, so I'll have to post that trailer because I have a lot yeah. of I have a lot of people that medicate that watch and they're like, man, I'm going to remember <laughs> and I'm going to go to that shit now and then the tent's going to roll around they're going to be like, man, there ain't ever yeah. shit to do here in town. And they're going to be giving that fucking speech at all yeah. Fresno. Yeah. Yeah. when you get EBT on the tent. Right? It's the same thing. Do you have any Sacramento <laughs> Sacramento viewers. We do have some people in Sacramento watching. We got an event coming yep. to you, Clash of the Champions. It's going to be se uh, se September 26th, I believe. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So it's it's Sacramento, in Sacramento. It's presented by QBD. Yeah. No shit. Even taking yeah. it out of town. Yeah. Right, hey, man. Anything you're doing on a bigger yeah. level like that, I'm fucking down for, man. Let me tell you. That. Now, hey, um, let's go ahead and we'll just do this part now, Bill. I like to hold off on this part sometimes. But I started something new. We've been doing this for over two years now, Bill. We're almost up to 230 episodes. And sometimes you got to spice up the fucking episode. So, Bill, it can't be all fucking cop rings and cocaine, Bill. That's all That's all this guy's about, man. That's all he's doing lines. Ask him about 1984 and uh, when he was uh, in porn and how the coke was back then, right? That's right. Uh, uh, remember that, that Fill Your Face song? Bill fucking lived that shit fucking 40 years ago. Now let me tell you this right now, okay? Bill, Bill does a weird dance with his fucking collar where he tends to dust his nose and shit. And I'm like, that's not even a dance. He's like, man, this got me through the fucking 80s right here, son. This got me blowjob after blowjob. Oh. Alright, now don't even bring up my man Boo Boo brings it up, dude. Here, here, here we go. No, bring up Boo Boo. Yeah, I know, He's on. I want to hear more about this shit. What the fuck were you up to, Bill? Bill's a freak, man. I'll tell you this. Well, I started doing something new where I like to turn it over to the musical guys. People are always like, man, you gotta fill up an hour of internet television time. Is that easy, Chris? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll just turn it over to you guys right now. So no longer is it sex, drugs, and Christopher, but for the next 60 seconds, it is now sex, drugs, and the PR battle crew! It's all the same. Love it. Yep. Ain't nothing more to life than sex and drugs. Not living, not breathing, but sex and life. <laughs> what? Yo, what's up? We the host right now. We're That's the host? what you just said. Uh, we got the power, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to all the <laughs> greasy chin bitches out there, Sean. <laughs> you know what I mean? All the um we we'll save it for the ring, you know. You can't put us on the spot. Oh, you can put me on the spot. Shit. Yeah. 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 Shout out to all the beautiful women with a low self esteem, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure y'all subscribe. Man. Like me, Chris, yeah. 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 Make sure y'all subscribe on YouTube, yeah. Power oh, Respect too. Battles. Follow, follow them on Twitter, Power Respect Battles. Um, Instagram, Power Respect Battles. If you want to get in touch or you want to get uh, up and coming and you want to get involved in Battle Plug Rap, the music. You, you come to yeah. Center, man. Plug the music. Check out my music on YouTube, Sinister Productions. Also got a battle coming up in September 26th, Class of Champions. Oh, Joe shit. Boy is going to be a dope one. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boom! There it is! Give it up for the PNR Battle <laughs> yeah. Hey, by the way, uh, can we go ahead and maybe buy applause? Who do we, who do we think won the fucking battle? Oh, I know, right? Yeah, real quick. Who won the fucking battle? It's a tie? Man, this is how they get to fucking come back. They're like, it's a tie. We got to come back and settle it. We'll have them on again. Hey, Bill, I got to remind all our fucking people. You can find links to all this shit, everything you heard on the Sex, Drugs, Christopher Facebook page. They will be sending it to me. We'll get the links going as it gets close to the events. Remember, there's not a live episode next Friday. Danny Tanner, aw. Oh, oh. I never not do this. But in honor of September 11th, which was an inside job, I will be exactly. hosting, man, I will be hosting a show at Strummers, formerly the Starline. King Parrot from Australia is coming to fucking town. I'm going to be hosting that shit for fucking Die Hard's music. We will see you guys September 18th with another live motherfucking episode. We did it, Billy Baroo!